Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add double quotes into an Excel formula. So say you wanted to add some double quotes around this URL. The way you do that is put equals, uh, you put four quotes actually. So one, two, three, four. Say I wanted to concatenate it to it, so I put the ampersand, click on my value there, ampersand, and then close it out with one, two, three, four, four quotes. And then I have my four quotes around there. You could also do it instead of the ampersands with a concatenate formula. Concatenate is basically the same thing as the ands, it just gives it some more structure so you know how to put the ands in there. So the same thing, you put the four, one, two, three, four, then a comma, add in your string, one, two, three, four, and close it out. And you still have the same thing. If you didn't want to type the quotes, there is a function called uh, char, it's here and in variable number 34 it takes a value and 34 is the number for the symbol double quotes so if you wanted to put that in there you just do equals char 34 which is the number the value that it takes you close it out and you'll get a double quote there so you can do that same principle uh, char uh, say 34 Oops, sorry. So char 34, and then put the ampersand, uh, same variable, ampersand char 34. Oh, sorry. And you'll get the the same thing as this value. Uh, what I like to do is kind of do something like this: have a reference variable where I uh, reference what I'm looking at or what I want to add repeatedly to concatenate and just reference that instead and in this way it's a little quicker I get the same value without having to type so much I just type it once and just reference the values if you're going to drag this down you want to lock them in as um, fixed values so that way you can just drag down your formula and not have it uh, not have it do anything so the reason why you add four quotes and not just three, uh, if you think about like parentheses, it's because the first and the last quotes uh, signal to Excel that this is a string, anything in between it is going to be a string. And when you add, say like you already have these two and you add another one, it's then telling Excel that you're going to use a special character uh, or a special set of characters um, that you want to treat as text. So for example here, if I do one, two, three, four, all right, and then put an ampersand, and then click on the uh, value for the URL, you see that the reference here, the range, is blue. It's a different color. Now if I get rid of one of these quotes, you see that it changes to black. And that's because Excel is treating everything after the first two quotes as escaped text. So if I and if I close this off and then it's gonna give me the same it's gonna give me a string value and I don't I don't want that. So that's why you add four quotes in order to use the uh, double quotes in a string in a, in a string formula like this. So I'll just show you another example. Say I wanted to uh, concatenate this into a string and say like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So I can just do concatenate. This is more of a uh, explanation on how to use concatenate plus using uh, char 34. So you can use Dwayne the Rock Johnson concatenate. Um, you'd want to put in some spaces in order to make it a string, you know, without spaces and not all run together. So you'd have uh, double quotes for the space. Then you'd want to reference uh, in this in this case I would just reference my char 34. Then what I want uh, in quotes then reference it again and then do another space and then close it out with the last name and that'll give me Dwayne the Rock Johnson if I didn't if I didn't put the spaces here you'd see that it just all kind of runs together yeah, you can see that it all just runs together so that's why you'd add the spaces in uh, with concatenate. I, th I think this is a lot cleaner instead of typing out char 34 multiple times. Um, but again, yeah, that's the reason. That's how you add double quotes into a formula, and that's the reason why um, 
you know, three doesn't work and you'd get some escape text if you do it the other way. So I hope that helps. Hope it's quick and dirty. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, write them in the comments. Thumbs up. Do all, do all that stuff. And thanks for watching.